Hey, Clint, hope you're well. Um, so I actually wanted to ask, I know we don't know his status for the series, but what has it been like to see Cam work back from his injury? Oh man, I've been seeing him uh, working like at the gym day in and day out. Uh, I know it's been a long time for him, uh, but like the, the, to have him back will be really uh, beneficial for us. Uh, he's a young, talented player with the length we can defend. Uh, I've seen him play and, and definitely uh, feels good to have him back with us for me tonight. Zach Klein. You excited to find uh, a defender uh, in um, Lopez that doesn't really go out and shoot the three, kind of an old school, traditional um, big man versus big man matchup? Yeah, I mean, uh, Brooke can, can space out, shoot the three. Uh, uh, he's, he's long, he's, he likes to, to be around the paint and defend. Uh, I mean, it's going to be great. Uh, we also have Giannis with him, who's really aggressive, and uh, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a, a, great, a great battle. Christos. Hey, Clint. Hope you're doing well. What type of challenge for you is that uh, that series against the Bucks? And how would you describe the mood in the locker room ahead of Game One in, at Fisher Forum? Uh, we are we're all excited, motivated to, to go out there uh, and play this team. We're all excited to be here. We want to use their opportunity to to show how good we are. Um, it's really a it's it, it's our time. I think uh, everyone in this team earned earned that right to be here today, and uh, we we, we want to prove it. Raphael Haynes from the three point conversion. Hey Clint, Clint, you think you're the only um, player on the team right now that has experience of playing in the conference finals? How can you use your experience from back then to now to help? Your team? Uh, just by the approach, uh, you know, my experience, um, those game, the adjustments, how, how, how better we can get, how mentally we have to stay stay put. Uh, uh, it's, it's a long series, a lot of games. Um, uh, obviously, yeah, this is going to be my third time. So um, just just going to try to keep our guys motivated. Uh, even though it's, it's, it's not always going to be easy, it's going to be a battle. Um, just to stay put, you know, it's going to be a war regardless. Is there anything that you can take from back then that you didn't apply, you know, then to now to help you get past Milwaukee? Uh, just go out there and play, uh, not overthinking. Uh, I know when I, when I was younger, it was, uh, it was yeah, my, my first year felt weird to, to have to, to guard Stephen Curry as a rookie. Uh, but today's difference, my seventh year, I have experience. So just go out there and enjoy the moment. Justin Felder. Hey, Clint. I mean, it, it really hasn't seemed like any moment has been too big for you guys or for the guys even without experience in the playoffs. But do you think the pressure turns up, the intensity turns up, being four wins away from the finals? Uh, honestly, not really for us. Uh, this I didn't feel that from the group. Uh, we're just always happy around each other. Uh, guys always laughing, being happy, being around. I, I didn't feel any pressure today or yesterday. Uh, just really happy to be here and uh, enjoy the moment. That this this what I felt from this group, and and I think that we really have a, maybe the group doesn't realize. And yeah, I realize with my experience, but this is what I love about this group is that the fact that we don't realize we just go out there and do it. It's it's amazing. And you, you touched on Giannis a little bit a moment ago. How, how do you describe him as a player? Who does he who is he like, or is he kind of just he's just himself? Yeah, he's just himself, uh, always aggressive, uh, always uh, really uh, energy every night is unique. He's always trying to dominate. Uh, I mean, he's been doing that for a couple of years, and uh, it's going to be great to, uh, to, to be out here and, and, and go to that battle against him, uh, enjoy the moment, and do whatever we can to, to go out there and, and uh, do what we have to do. Just a couple more. First from Terrell Thomas. Uh, Clint, one of the things that a lot of people talk about with the Milwaukee Bucks team uh, is their defensive prowess uh, with Giannis, Drew Holiday, and P.J. Tucker. 
uh, PJ is a gentleman that you know very well from your time together in Houston. Um, have there been any things or will there be any things uh, about how he plays defense and little knickknack things he does that you'll try to uh, make your teammates aware of so that they can kind of have an advantage uh, when, when he's facing them on the defensive end? Uh, no, honestly, we just uh, focus more on us than them. Uh, more focus about what we have to do and what we need to apply. Yeah, he ended up with 10 points in the fourth quarter somehow. And, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, focus on us and what we have to do. And uh, and this is our main this is our main mindset right now. Thank you. It looks like the final question will come from Ferdinand Rivera. Hey, Clint from Puerto Rico. What are your expectations going against Yanis Antetokounmpo in this series, and what we can expect from this young and hungry team of Atlanta against Milwaukee? Uh, I mean, the, the, the Bucks are a really good team. Yanis Middleton, how the day. Um, those three guys are really uh, uh, are really uh, going to be aggressive and, and special. They know what they do. They have experience, and and for us, we just we just go out there and play. Uh, we have a young group out here. Uh, that people people tend to forget, so we are just going to go out there and play. Do what we have to do. Uh, we've been doing it uh, this whole playoff, and we don't want to change it now because it's been working really well for us. Just go out there and play, and. Uh, Whatever mistake we make, we, we're just going to try to get better every game, not make the make mistakes and uh, and not overthinking anything. Thank you, Clint. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.